Hi, welcome to We Play Golf. Today we're going to reveal the reason why not everyone can play like Tiger Woods. Welcome back to We Play Golf, the golf channel where you easily learn how to play golf. We publish new golf tips and tricks every week, so if you don't want to miss one of our videos, please consider subscribing. So in today's video, we're going to reveal you one of the reasons why you can't swing or why not everyone can swing just like Tiger Woods. Of course, Tiger Woods is one of the best players in the world. So many players try to copy Tiger Woods, but as we are not all the same and we don't have the same structure, it is not possible. We'll show you why. So when you look on television, you see players with a very steep swing and a more shallow swing and then more like a Tiger Woods swing. So everybody should know to be able to have the correct plane on to swing, what is the difference between your arm span and your body length? If that is the same, you'll be swinging like Tiger. First of all, he will be on the shoulder plane, more the natural plane. If your arms are shorter than your body length, you'll be definitely a little more shallow, a little flatter in the top of the backswing. And if you have long arms towards the body, then you have a more upright swing. Now, we don't measure for pleasure. Just take this little tool, you probably have one at home, just get it from your middle finger, take the arm span to the other middle finger. Don't exaggerate, just keep it straight. As I can see, for me it's 177 centimeter. When I take the natural posture, stance, and take the height, I will be 182. I know that my height is 182, but my arm span is only 177. So by knowing this, I was told by Mike Adams, maybe you know Mike Adams, he was telling us how you should correct this for your swing. So when I was measured up, I knew immediately that when you make a swing, the clip will not be here, like Tiger, on your shoulder plane, but slightly more under. If my arms would have been longer, I would have had my swing plane more vertical. If you would compare Tiger's swing to Matt Kocher and Jim Furyk, you'll see a big difference because Tiger will be about here, Matt Kocher is here, and Jim Furyk will be around there. So, why? Well, first rule in golf is, can you keep your balance as you make your swing? You should have your balance. If you're not in balance, you cannot make a good contact to the ball. So, if you start swinging the club like Tiger, you want to be on shoulder plane, which is very good for him. You, if you have a long arms, you'll be already out of plane and out of balance. For short arm people, will be the same. They'll be over the top. So they'll be out of balance. People who have longer arms will tend to have more of a fade swing than the short arm. The short arm player will have a tendency to have more draw. Do you think about that? So if you measure up the arm span and your body length, if you have short arm, you'll be shallower, if you have equal, like Tiger, you'll be about shoulder plane. And if you have longer arms, you want to have your swing plane more vertical. You'll be in balance and you'll hit better balls than you've ever done. This is how we play golf. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and share it with your golf buddies. See you next time. So when you make a Tiger Woods swing, you'll be on shoulder plane. When you play with shorter arms, just like me, the draw player, shallower, and finish, probably a little lower. And if I got steep, long arm, high finish. <laughs>